Hi folks, this is Ura Kinja. Welcome to TechSmith Snagit 2021, the brand new edition of Snagit that I've been using for I don't know how many years. Uh, probably, I don't know, at least uh, seven, eight years, maybe more. And uh, this is such a useful screen capture tool that it's like my, honestly, it's like my right hand these days when I'm doing anything, doing documentation. And it is so much so that usually I'm not even thinking whether I'm using Snagit or not. But now that this new 2021 edition is out and I had a chance to have a look at it, now I'm looking at it in a more uh, critical way you know, putting a distance between myself and the software. This, as you can see, the main uh, window of Snagit. It's got uh, three different tabs, all-in-one, image capture, video capture. And I will start with the uh, all-in-one default tab. Now, here are the settings. You can, I, I would like to, you know, preview what I capture in editor and uh, Snagit capture, uh, you, you can do a lot of stuff once it's in the editor. You can add stuff, change the dimension, etc., etc. But um, other settings, I don't want to copy it to clipboard since I'm going to open it in editor. And uh, capturing cursor is okay. And here this five second delay, I don't want it right now. This is for like capturing drop menus and stuff like that. It's kind of very useful if you have that kind of a screen. So uh, let's start with doing a regular capture. And this is manual, right? So you just basically, you know, click and drag whatever you want to capture on the screen. And it gives you these three options, you know, the regular capturing an image, recording a video, uh, launching a panoramic capture, and I will get to that. It tells you what the uh, dimensions of your uh, screenshot, screen capture will be. And you can do a redo or you can just change your mind if you think that's not the right way to do it. Now, there's a great shortcut, Control shift p I'm so used to it on a Windows machine. So, it just gives you these crosshairs for you to drag and select the area of the capture. And when you let it go, and I click Capture an Image, and it should automatically open in the editor. Now, uh, editor... Is, is of course a whole lot of tools in the editor for example shape tool you can draw anything you like here and it is so flexible and whatever tool you have chosen you can change the outline color uh, you can fill it with different color for emphasis and you can even change the thickness uh, thickness of the uh, outline and opacity you can make it kind of almost transparent versus opaque so it's all up to you and that's that should be a different video